Give him some bread. <laughs> Just dump it all out. Yeah. can't see them right yet, but the hawks have been soaring, and every time this year, it's, um, it's mating season, so we have to keep everyone cooped up in the pen, and only do supervised training, or not training, supervised free ranging. A huge run for them. It spans up and all the way down the hill. Now we built our coop ourselves. No. Mountain Man built it. And, um, watch out, buddy. We have two roosts on each side. We're actually going to be taking one down soon. There's one side. Oh, can I get in? No. Okay. There's the other side. We do have a window for ventilation right now. It's halfway closed. <clears throat> and then you can see we have several nesting boxes. And they only use two of them. So every year around this time, we normally switch from straw bedding over to cardboard bedding. And every year it's a huge topic of discussion on our blog and um, on our Facebook page. And so here you can see we have these little cardboard pieces. And basically it works just like deep litter method. As you can see, it's it's really coarse. It's um, it's just cardboard, and what they've done is, is they've shredded it into these pieces. And um, a lot of people have said, "Well, don't your chickens eat it?" No, they can't eat it. It's too hard. It's too big. Um, so we prefer the cardboard bedding because um, it's not as stinky. It absorbs. Uh, moisture a lot better than straw does in the summertime. When it's humid outside, the straw can get a little bit damp. Um, or, you know, sometimes we have a leaky roof, which needs to be fixed. And so we can easily see that the roof is leaking if we have cardboard. Um, and if it's humid outside, um, the cardboard doesn't absorb the moisture like straw would. So it actually stays a lot drier than straw in the summertime. Now I was attempting to use it this winter, but um, straw is simply, in my opinion, warmer in the wintertime than the cardboard is. Um, so along with the cardboard bedding, we use Sweet PDZ, and that allows us to use this cardboard bedding. It takes two bags to fill our eight foot by eight foot coop. Um, and so they come in large bags, they're about this height to me and they're about this wide. Um, so it takes two bags to fill our coop. This cardboard bedding will only need to be changed once um, or added to once one more time before September or October time. So this bedding is going to stay in here for several months which is going to cut down on cost. Um, it's going to be more, it's just, it's just easy to maintain just like deep litter. 
So basically it's the same concept. Um, as you could see, you come out every morning when you collect eggs or every day at whatever time that is, you stir your cardboard bedding and um, if it gets stinky on a humid day, which is possible, but um, if it does, you just sprinkle sweet PDZ on it and it's fine. It cuts down on the ammonia because um, some of my hands have some stinky poop. Let's just say that. And that's it. That's all I'm doing to maintain this coop flooring. Now, we don't have hundreds of chickens. I have done this um, with about 55 chickens and I had to stir it a lot more and it only lasted about eight weeks. Okay. So with you know, 12 to 15 chickens, I am using it and it and it stays dry and non-stinky. You could probably get by with six months um, as long as you're maintaining it properly. So I highly suggest cardboard bedding. Um, if you have a ton of chickens, it might not be as cost effective for you, but for us, because we're only, we only have enough chickens for us and a few egg customers, um, it is very cost effective for us. Straw bales around here are five to eight dollars depending on the quality. And please note you're using straw, not hay for a coop floor. Um, where this was like, I don't know, it's like 12 bucks a bag, if that, and it lasts six months. So rather than in the summertime switching out straw constantly because it gets humid and it gets stinky and it can have mold and it can sprout, Using the cardboard bedding, it's low dust, absolutely no dust in here in the summertime, um, which is good for my chicken's respiratory systems. There's really basically no stink unless it's a really hot day. Um, and my chickens like it. I actually had a duck bed down and hatch chicks in this cardboard bedding last year. So they like it. It's easy on their feet. It's, it's natural. It's just recycled cardboard. And we really enjoy that coop bedding um, option for us. I was surprised to hear about it when a friend of mine told me about it a couple of years ago. And I've been hooked ever since. So, highly encourage it. You can find, find a blog post of ours linked down below. Um, and you can read all about it. And if you do try it, let me know. I want to know how you like it. Also, caution, <laughs> a lot of people cannot find this cardboard bedding. There have been people looking for over two years for this and don't have it in their area. So... We have it at our local farm store, and they actually call it equine bedding, equine um, cardboard stall bedding is I think how they label it. So um, you might have to just go in and say, is it the equine one, is it cardboard? It's not labeled chicken coop bedding because a lot of people don't use it because a lot of people don't know about it. So if, you're, if you don't have it, you can order it, but it's way too expensive. So it's just a matter on if it's available in your area or not, which I hope it is. I hope you can try it. And everything will be linked below. Let me know how you like it.